Hello, my dear friends. Today I'll try to do a mix of materials. And most important, if you are the first time on our channel don't forget to do a super trio. Like, comment, subscribe. And please if you like this style of material let write a comment. Let's begin. To get the maximum benefit from any weight loss program it needs to be designed so that it fits your specific requirements as everybody's requirements are considerably different. The only way that you can determine exactly what you require is to look at all aspects of your lifestyle, from the food you eat to the exercise that you do on a regular basis. You also need to take into account your working environment and how this will affect your ability to manage a weight loss program and whether your occupation is also affecting the fact that you are overweight. Your height, weight, and gender will determine how many calories you should be consuming during the day and your nutrition can be adjusted accordingly to ensure that you will lose weight while still remaining healthy. You also need to look at any supplementation that will be required and this will be adjusted according to any fitness training that you might be doing and once again the other factors that have already been mentioned. The current condition of your health will need to be taken into account when designing a weight loss program. It will also be well worth considering whether you are able to maintain the weight loss program that has been designed for you and evaluation should be made after the first week or so and adjusted accordingly as you should be able to maintain any program over the long term to expect reasonable results. Your specific requirements will change over time, and they can change quite rapidly as your fitness levels increase and your body fat reduces. So you need to be aware that a weight loss program that has been specifically designed for you now may not be suitable in a month or two. Taking all these factors into account will ensure that you get the maximum results in the minimum time. The number of calories that you consume on a daily basis will determine whether you gain or lose weight and this is one of the most important aspects of any weight loss program that you decide to go on. Studies have been taken where overweight people believed they were eating no more food than other people they associated with who were considerably slimmer than them. The overweight people were under the false impression that the reason why they were heavier and gaining weight was due to their body's metabolism. When keeping a record of their food consumption over a specified period of time it was shown that they were actually consuming more calories and it had nothing to do with their metabolism but rather their choice of food and the quantities they were eating. You only need to reduce your calorie intake by 100 calories per day to make a substantial effect on your weight over the period of the year. This is a very manageable goal for almost everybody and it is not too difficult to cut back by that amount, however many of the weight loss programs are recommending considerably more reduction in calories making it very difficult to maintain and as a result of this many people are failing to achieve what they start out to do. Now when you combine the fact that you only need to reduce calories by that much, with additional supplementation of vitamins and minerals that can help your overall health, you can see how you can stay nutritionally balanced throughout the whole weight loss process and not feel as though you are starving yourself. For many people just knowing that the hurdle is not so great, and that there are suitable supplements to assist them, is enough to ensure that they can start and maintain a good weight loss program. What you believe is what you will get and this is particularly so with weight loss. How many times do you say that you have finished lunch or dinner only to pick up another piece of food and eat it? Many people do this on a regular basis and they have programmed their mind to believe that there is always more to come simply by the actions that they are taking on a regular basis. How many times do you cut the cake in half intending to only eat that portion and then go back and eat the other half immediately after? When you are cutting that cake in your mind you already know that you will be getting the rest and you are falsely kidding yourself into believing that the process of cutting off half is doing you some form of good. In fact, it is better to decide on how much you will be eating and then eating that portion even if it is the whole amount because you will at least be true to yourself. If you are constantly allowing yourself to fail by succumbing to additional food then you are training your belief system in a negative way and this begins to affect all aspects of your life. It doesn't matter what you say to other people or what you try to have them believe. It is not helping you one bit to tell everyone that you won't be eating any more cake. What matters is what you do and whether you are doing what you say you will do. Your beliefs are your reality and if you believe that there are many different reasons why you can't lose weight then the reality of your life will be that you won't lose weight. If you believe that your genes or your metabolism are responsible for your overweight condition then that is what you will be even though a change in diet and exercise will make a difference. 
Getting your mind to understand and accept the true reality is one of the biggest hurdles for most people who are trying to make changes in their life. Believe you can do it and you will, there is no doubt about that.